Okay, I'm live. I hope I get viewers on this because this is streaming into the event that was supposed to have started 30 minutes ago, but um, it wouldn't let me tag anybody and then I had to clean up a mess and put dinner on. So yeah, I'm late, but um, I'm here. <laughs> I hope that someone gets the notification because I'm not doing a live video with no viewers. That's pointless. Live videos are for, um, interaction, right? Yeah, so let me wait a few minutes for people to come on. Hopefully they do. If they don't, I will just cancel the other event and go from there. I'm not surprised. Ah! Yay! You're here. Okay, that was a strange reaction, but who cares? <laughs> Yay! You are here. Good. Um... Yeah, so, um, I had a delay. I had to go live from my main page and connect it to the event that I created a few days ago. Thank you. Um, because I couldn't tag anyone. No one was coming on. I was on live for four minutes and no one was coming on. I tried it twice, so I'm going live from my main page and it should be plugged into my event in whatever way that works. I have no idea how Facebook operates. I just use it. <laughs> okay, so hi Lawrence. Yay, your avatar is um in the corner. I like that. Facebook has updated that. Um yeah, Facebook has updated that. So, um, yay. What am I going to do? I'm going to read something for you guys. Because this is always my poetry. That's one of the reasons why I um, get on here is to read my poetry. Um, so, I think I read in the last episode, Dear Jacob and Freedom. So I'm trying to find something else. I don't have everything on here. Um, and some of this stuff is for... Oh, yeah, I'm getting... Um, it's for publication. I'm getting... Um, I, I'm getting my poem, Dear Jacob, um, copyrighted. And it's going to be published in an anthology. And it's no charge. It's awesome. So, um... I'm getting it out there. I The moment I sent Dear Jacob to one of my best friends, um, I, I got an almost immediate response from her. And she was like, Sarah, this will save lives. Like, she's like, this has to go viral. I'm like, well, the algorithm doesn't usually like me, so good luck with that. But thank you for the sentiment. <laughs> Anyway, all right, so. You know what I'm going to read? Something about twin flame separation. I think I wrote it on um, Facebook, and then I saved it here. Yay! People like that. All right, so... Um, well, some people like it. Oh, and by the way, have y'all noticed, have y'all noticed that this is still shorter than this? I'm getting it cut tomorrow. Tomorrow's my birthday. I'm getting it cut tomorrow. I can't stand it. I tried to even it out with scissors that didn't work, and I made it worse. I mean, it's not terrible, but it looks a little weird when you look up close at it. And I used to love that style. Like, edgy was everything to me. I like to be more elegant now. And put together. I like to look put together. Like, 
no crazy hairstyles, no crazy colors, no offense to people who do that, you look great in it. I had that time of my life. <laughs> I'm, I'm just gonna keep my hair brown or blonde. Or red. My hair is... My hair looks brown in some lights and red in other lights. I don't know. It, it Most people tell me... Most people tell me that I have red hair as soon as they see me. I'm like, okay, well, some people think it's brown. Whatever. I wish it was brown. It was brown when I was a kid. And, um, I... It was brown when I was a kid, and I love losing my train of thought. Um, I do that all the time, so that's always going to happen on every video. <laughs> Again, brown hair when I was a kid. When I got older, I started bleaching it, which is a really big mistake. Don't do that. And, um, it turned it red. And then I bleached it again at the end of 2020, and I had blonde hair for, like, a year and a half. It really, it only grew out last year. I wish I still had my blonde hair. Yes, it's a lot of maintenance, but I'm more confident in blonde hair. I like it better. One of my best friends on here will agree with me. I didn't tag her because I was afraid of tagging too many people. I was afraid that the live video was going to say that I couldn't do that. So I only tagged the ones who requested to be tagged. You need to tilt your head and it will... <laughs> It will look fine. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So this is what I'm going to look like until I get my hair cut. <laughs> oh, it's funny. Um, yeah. No. I have... Haha, <laughs> I didn't even notice till you said something about it just now. Thank you. <laughs> um, yeah. I'm usually able to hide discrepancies in my hair and on my makeup pretty well. I am not a makeup guru, but I did almost go to school for hair until we found out it was $16,000 without a loan. No. Um, anyway, I decided to do custodial work and I mean, most people look down on that, they really do, which is offensive because a lot of people who are custodians had a lot of responsibility in keeping things clean for people during the height of the virus a few years ago. So I think custodians and people in maintenance and stuff earned a little bit more respect than they used to get for that. Um, but I have been, yeah, 16K. Man, 16K without a loan. And I didn't qualify for one because I was exempted from the math tax test. Um, long story. I had a brain injury when I was younger and, like, there was bleeding in my brain. And, um, I was 12 years old when that happened. I have not been able to go past sixth or seventh grade math since I was 12 years old. I don't know how to do algebra or anything like that. It's not a, it's not the kind of disability that not being able to read is, but it's still, you know, um, a little bit of a, little bit of a disability. I should have been in special needs classes for most of my, um, most of my school, um, career, whatever the hell they call it. Um, I should have been, but the school I went to didn't have their act together, we'll just put it that way. And I was robbed of a lot of help that I could have gotten from the state. Anyway, um, algebra sucks anyway, you are using that, I know, but if I want to go get a, an Associate of Science degree, which I actually am, am interested in because I'm so techy, like Mike is, um, that I... I, I would like to do that, but I have to take basic math classes and stuff that I should have learned how to do, you know, back in high school. And it's been a while since I took the English tax test. 
Oh, great story about that. I was the only one in, I probably less than 50 years, but probably 20 years or so, um, that got a perfect score on the English tax test, like a higher score than the valedictorian did, and he just wanted to pass. He didn't care. Most people had not done that in 20 years, like I broke a record. I didn't realize that importance back then. I was just a little too immature to understand that. But, um, yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, I would have to really study up on the English tax test again, too, um, or the English test, whatever it's called here, or whatever it's called in college now rather than in high school, um, in order to pass it. I, it's been 10 years. I, I mean, I don't remember that much of it, but, um, I, honestly, if college worked in a different way and they let you pursue what you're good at without having to be required to take stuff that you're not good at, that would be, I'd already have finished college. <laughs> so, yeah, I didn't even mean to go off on to this, but it seems to go, um, it seems to be going well. I'm enjoying what I'm talking about. I need to go to bed, have a good night, and sweet dreams, peace, and love. Well, I'm so happy, I'm so, so happy you popped on here, Bob. Thank you so much. Um, I was late because of technical difficulties, and then I had a mess to clean up, and somebody wanted dinner. So, um, yeah. <laughs> Um, good night and sweet dreams. And, um, for anybody else popping on here, for anybody else popping on here that doesn't know what I'm do doing, I was actually going to read poetry and then I started talking about my high school education and some brain damage that I had when I was, um, 12. So that was going into high school, well, not going into high school, that was going into junior high and leaving middle school. And, um, yeah, we kind of just talked about that a little bit. Um, it's not something everybody knows about me, and I just announced that basically to the world. <laughs> I have no idea how many people will see this. I don't really care. Okay, Sophia's texting me. I can't text you back, girlfriend. It will end my live. <laughs> I'm literally on live. What time is it? It is 7.49. I was supposed to end this in 10 minutes. Um, I'm not going to end it in 10 minutes because I was 30 minutes late, but we'll see how far I can go. Well, thanks for... Thanks for sharing. I meant, oh, you're welcome. No problem. Um, I know that there's a lot of people. Hey, Joe. I know you've been waiting for me to go live for a couple of days. I was going to do it yesterday, and I just blanked. I was like, no, it's a better night to do it. Um, so um, I only tagged a few people because I didn't know who wanted to be tagged, and I didn't know if Facebook was going to let me tag more than five people. Like, I tried to get in, I tried to go live from the actual event, and it wouldn't show me anything. So I had to go live on my main page, and then it linked itself to my event, I guess. I don't know how Facebook works, like I said. Cool. Works for me. Um, anyway, so, oh, Joe, by the way, um, I know you checked out my Instagram, Playboy Poetry. Um, I updated that last night. Hopefully you like it. Um, yeah, somebody else, um, somebody else said the same thing to me. I actually opened an age-old message from somebody on that account. She sent it back in 2020. That was two and a half years ago. And I replied to her, and she started following me, and I was like, oh my god, I can't believe I just saw this two and a half years later. My bad. And she's like, don't worry about it at all. I, I explained to her why I, um, I explained to her why I got off of it for two years, and she understood. I was writing about BDSM. It's not a lifestyle that I'm actually in. It's just more like a fantasy. And, 
like, I just like writing about it. It's not like, I'm not into the lifestyle. I just like writing about different fantasies that people might have. I mean, lots of people do it. And I'm a writer, so why not? Um, it's nothing that, it's nothing where, you know, nobody but a certain age group can see it, but I wouldn't recommend it to anyone younger than anyone in high school, <laughs> okay? Um, but, uh, yeah, I, I was gaining momentum. I had almost 5k followers, and then people started getting jealous and telling me that I didn't know what I was talking about or what I was writing about, that it was borderline something I can't say on here, and started calling me all kinds of profanity. I haven't really posted on there in two years. I have been uninspired to, but I just updated, I just updated it last night because somebody else asked me to as well. People have been asking me to update that page, and they've been asking me to go live. I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, sure, I'd love to. Oh my god, we're fan! Auntie! Hey, what's up? Um, I... I'm so happy to see you. My mom came on the last one. Um, she didn't say much, but that's okay. Um, good to see you. <laughs> I'm, I was talking about, uh, my, um... I was talking about my history, actually, with, um school and college and um what I want to do with that and um a couple of other things too um I was gonna read poetry and I was gonna read something long but I think I'm gonna try to find something else because I do get exhausted reading this stuff I have intense stuff that I publish and um I think I'm going to read Dear Jacob again. I want to. I feel like I should. Beautiful thing about being a writer is you write about whatever makes you happy. They don't like it. Don't read it. Thank you. I had somebody on here who was not my friend, and I had a feeling that he wasn't, but I was trying to be polite because that's the way I am. And um, he told me to... Stop posting about my ex. He's blocked, so he won't see this. I was like, I don't have an ex I'm talking about. What are you talking about? And he said, you're annoying. I'm like, okay, thank you, that was rude. And he said, I mean that with all the love in my heart. I'm like, there's no love in your heart telling me that I'm annoying. I don't think so. So, it actually, I went to bed early that night. It bothered me that much. Um, I don't usually let trolls bother me anymore. But, um, that annoyed me. <laughs> you get it? He called me annoying. That annoyed me. So, <laughs> alright, I want to read, um, I want to read this, and I don't, um, that was, that was in response to your comment, John. I want to read this again because I feel like I should. This is about to be copyrighted, actually, and published in an anthology with Wild Ink Publishing. Check them out. They're good. I remember that. Such a rude monster. <laughs> oh, he was being nasty to me for somebody else, and I knew it. Some people are just walking oxymorons. Yes. You know... I can tell you were born back then, because you just used that word. Like, even teachers don't use the word oxymorons anymore. I'm serious. Like, unless you're an English teacher, you don't hear people say that stuff. You can tell I'm a 90s kid. I have the vocabulary of a 90s kid, and I was homeschooled. I am... Sorry. My hair is just a mess. And it's, like, trying to get through... Do you see that? It scrunches up on the side. Sorry for losing my train of thought and changing the subject, but it scrunches up on the side. I need it cut and layered. I'm getting that done tomorrow. It's been doing that, like, bunching up on the side here, like that, for weeks. I'm so glad somebody thinks that's funny. <laughs> 
I, it's annoying. But anyway, okay, yeah, back to me being a 90s kid with the vocabulary. I was homeschooled. I have advanced vocabulary. Both of my parents, neither one of my parents went to college. You'd never know it. They are that smart. They sound like scholars when they talk. Hey, Sophia. Buzz, really? Lawrence? <laughs> No. <laughs> Maybe for Jake. <laughs> it, it looks a hot mess, but we will pretend it's just fine. Oh, yeah, I mean, this is, I can't control this right now, man. My hair is just going to do what it's going to do. Thank you for understanding. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, I want to dye it, too. Like, I want to dye it back to blonde, but one, I don't want to sit in the chair for three hours, depending on how long it takes the person to do it. My hair is not as long this time, but it would probably still take like three hours, and I just don't know. I don't want to do that right now. I'm trying to keep my hair natural. It's already fried from the years of exposure to hair dye, cheap hair dye that I used. It'd be one thing if I had done Sally's all those years. Sally's is like an at-home treatment that you can do that is salon grade. I don't want to mess with my hair anymore. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of the mess. I'm tired of trying not to make a mess. And I'm tired of filling in the roots and everything else. Good thing I didn't go to school to cut hair. Because that's part of the job. Oh yeah, and back in 2017, I had, I had my hair cut for free by somebody who knew somebody who was training at a Fantastic Sam's or a Great Clips. I can't remember which one. And she was almost done cutting my hair. And her boss comes up to her and starts yelling at her in front of all of us. Why isn't her hair done yet? I'm like, what? How rude. I could not, I could not do that. I mean, I understand that you have to do, you have policies to go by when you're doing that, but I mean, having a boss, like, that, you could tell she was mortified. I feel so bad for her. But anyway, all right, so there's my ADHD. Now we're going to read Dear Jacob. <laughs> Dear Jacob, I love you with a love that cannot die. Please know that no matter what. I am so sorry for the time I wasted, for the years I ignored you. I am so sorry for not loving you the way I do now. I begged God to allow me to love you for so long. I write this sobbing with a throbbing soul. Please forgive me. I don't deserve you. I never did. I never will, but you love me anyway. I can't possibly fathom why you do, and you do it so gracefully and properly. You are a god yourself, my son. Please, dear Jacob, allow me to show you what it means to be my son. I adore you. I will protect you, and I will be your best friend. I promise. Please don't let my folly become your demons. I never want you to feel pain. I want to be pregnant with you forever. Let me love you. I will not betray you even if it costs me every last thing I have. You are worthy, Jacob. It is your birth it is your birthright. I will not let you fail. Thank you for choosing me. Thank you for being my son. Because of you, I have eternally won. I owe you all of it with interest. It's yours. I don't want it. Keep it, cherish it, and please just don't forget me, my precious. You are God to me. Love, Mommy. And I wrote that before he started calling me Mama, and I wrote it on my sister's birthday, 422. I thought that was significant. So, yeah, I just opened the, um, I just opened the submission that I wrote, um, with in the sentences spaced, so that was easier for me to read. Um, I had to divide it into sentence. I, I don't know how to explain it. I had to divide it into, like, paragraphs and sentences so that it would look like a poem rather than just a paragraph. Oh my god, please get off my screen. I have notifications come up, and, I, and I'm afraid I'm going to hit the wrong thing. Oh, he's a lucky boy. Thank you. Yeah, I'm trying to make my first book about him entirely, like make a chat book that's like completely dedicated to him. 
but my publisher said that she's ready for me already, and I don't know if I'm going to have time to do that. I might have to publish a different volume first. Beautiful. Thanks for sharing again. Thank you. Um, I felt like I should. It's a, it's a, it's almost an historic thing for me that it's getting copyrighted and I don't have to pay for it, and it's just, it's going through a legit publisher and stuff, and it's, it's, it's really great. I tried getting published back in 2015, and it was a mess. Here's one with the piece if you want. Yes, thanks. Jake, Jake walks three feet away. He puts on, they put two slides on the paper. He walks three feet away, drops one of them on. It's all over. There's sauce all over the carpet. Great. <laughs> okay. I'll clean it up when I'm done. Oh. Well, good. I'm surprised. Sorry, guys. Um, I wanted to actually do this live when some people like Lawrence were awake. <laughs> Um, so, <laughs> um, yeah, I decided to go live while everybody was still awake. I usually wait until my son's asleep, but, um, I'm not going to be able to be on here for an hour. Um, and I know that some people on here are going to bed now. Um, but I need to eat my pizza and I... Probably need to let Lawrence go to sleep now. It is 10 o'clock there. Yes, I'm right on. Okay, I didn't even, I didn't even have to be psychic to know that. <laughs> I actually have a clock in front of me. One of my friends, Taylor, she usually tells me how long I've been on for. She's, she's just, like, she's great like that. And if Sophia's still on here, Sophia, I would have tagged you, but I didn't know if it was going to let me, so I just, um, uh, I just went live so that it would actually let me. Facebook was being a mess tonight. Anyway, I love you guys, and I'm, oh yeah, I'm going to start going live daily. Probably only for 30 minutes, because it is actually, um, it takes up my energy even to just read, um, poetry for more than 45 minutes at the most. That's why most people don't do longer than an hour live. But anyway, if Mike was joining me, I'd probably do an hour. But he has stuff to do. All good. Thanks for making time for us. Much appreciated. Oh, of course. Absolutely. I love having you guys. And I will tag you all tomorrow. I'm serious. I'm going to go daily. I'm going to go live daily, even if it's just for a few minutes. It's one of my New Year's intentions. All right. I love you all. And thank you for watching. Have a great night. And if anybody wants to talk to me, feel free to inbox me. All right. Love you guys. Blessings.